hi welcome again and today i'm going to show you a very easy way to get uh, more details with your earth landscape clips so basically here we get some uh, landscape data from the real uh, data source and then we apply some noise to get more details so here we have with the landscape with some noise you can see it here and let me remove the noise and uh, you can compare it how it looks like i'm going to set the noise in front to zero and i'm going to set all the q all right now you can see it's quite flat and the reason is our data source is not that high uh, definition data so that's why we get a landscape like this but we can get some of these uh, data back by simply applying some noise that uh, ships with the earth landscape clip so here we have noise mountain noise section so you can uh, put some noise value let's say 0 0.2 noise influence and you can, you can get some noise into my landscape i'm, I'm gonna go to my uh, real time preview mode so it's easy so now i can I can change the sliders and uh, add some more details noise scale so this is the noise scale i can control that i think this is nice also you can increase the noise details so get more details like this and also you can increase the noise contrast basically it will remove the uh, some of the noise uh, in some places and also you can change the noise patterns and position and see it and there are so many things that you can work with this so i'm going to put all these things to default right and this is by default how it looks like i'm going to increase the noise scale a little bit all right and i might increase the noise details yeah something like this and then let's see how it looks like in my landscape i'm going to go out of my preview data all right this looks fine i think it's too much noise in this case maybe not so basically you can play with these values and get some nice details in your uh, real world landscape all right uh i think this is the tutorial if you're familiar with terrain magic and the earth landscape clip uh this is basically all you need but in the rest of the tutorial i'll start uh creating things from scratch so you can have a clear idea of what i'm talking about all right here i'm going to create a new file new level so let's start with the basic uh, level so we have something to work with and i'm gonna remove the uh, our flow which is we don't need so instead of that i'm going to create a new landscape i'm going to select mode and the landscape and here i'm going to select the uh edit layers enable edit layers and you can set any uh, landscape material you have uh, this is not important right now so you can put any landscape material you have here i have something called tiny land uh, so you don't need to worry about it you can use any landscape material and it's very important to set the enable edit layers you have to click that and then uh, section size i'm going to go with this and this I have about 2k landscape this will be fine for this demo i'm going to create all right and then i'm going to go to my paint section and here from the, uh, the paint layers i'm going to select the first uh, layer info for the first layer and then uh, it will apply the landscape material in this case and we are good to go all right then next we need the terrain magic uh, landscape plugin so basically you can get this from the marketplace and uh, so once you install that to your engine and also enable it to your project you can go to edit plugins and search for terrain magic and then you can enable it like this i have already done that so we don't need to do it anymore after you've done that go to your landscape mode again go to the sculpt section and select the blueprint tab over here and the, here we have blueprint brush section i'm going to select the terrain i'm going to select the terrain magic clip brush and i'm going to uh, click somewhere on the screen right it will apply a clip brush over here and that's all we need uh, to communicate with the landscape and then i'm going to go out of my landscape mode right now we are uh, ready to work with terrain magic right the first thing i'm going to do it i'm going to go to my place actors tab over here if you can't see this go to window and here we have place actors tab you can click that and it will add a place actors tab i'm going to drag it over here okay now we have this i'm going to select for base uh here we have something called base landscape clip i'm going to drag that into my scene so basically it will set the base for my uh, landscape work and I'm going to set the base value to uh, absolute minimum. So it will set the base value to absolute minimum. And then uh, after that, you have done these changes, you can hit this invalidate button over here. And it will apply those changes over here. All right, it will hide the landscape for right now. That's totally fine. When we have a new uh, landscape clip, everything will be uh, fixed. Right. And then uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to go to my place actors tab again. I'm going to select for Earth landscape clip. So basically we are getting some earth data real-time height data i'm going to drag that in, into my scene go to details panel and click the uh, match landscape slice and you can hit twice right now you can see uh, your landscape and it's quite flat and that's fine because we don't have any data all right and then here click the open the map 
So it will open a map over here. You can select some uh, location you have. Uh, so basically you can uh, search for Google Maps and uh, search some location over here with let and log. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, we have a in-depth video of Earth Lancer Clip. Uh, check the description below. Uh, right here, I'm gonna try to select some random place like this. Right, uh, okay, something like this. Maybe this. And here, uh, when you select that, uh, there will be a code. This code will be uh, copied to your uh, clipboard automatically. So simply click that. If, if that doesn't work, you can simply uh, right click and copy this. Now I can simply close this. And now you select the uh, Earth landscape clip and select and uh, paste this code tile info string over here. All right. And then you can simply hit download tile. So it will download the tile. Say so start downloading the tile. Right now we have our landscape over here. Cool. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to enable the uh, real time mode over here. Real time preview mode. Okay. And then about here height fog. I'm going to little bit reduce it a little bit something like this. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to select my Atlantic clip, clip again. I'm going to first I'm trying to do is I'm going to go to the uh, uh, fading section because I need a little bit of mountain kind of thing. I'm going to set the box fading. You have this. And I'm going to reduce the mark span like this. Okay. Like this. So here this map is not really good for a mountain because you can see it's how it looks like. But here that's fine because we are not uh, creating something uh, interesting uh, just to show you how everything works. All right. And then I think this is good. Uh, so now uh, what I'm trying to go with, uh, I can go a little bit closer and I'm going to go out of my preview mode and I can see how it looks like. You can see there are some like artifacts over here. It doesn't look really nice. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to go to my real time mode again and I'm going to do some uh, like blurring, apply some radial blur. A blur uh, distance, I'm going to put something like three. It's a little bit gone. I'm going to say something like five. Okay, that's enough, I guess. Uh, let me try that. Yeah, this is good. But now you can see uh, my landscape is a little bit smooth. Uh, we don't have any details. And that's kind of, yeah, not good. So that's why this mountain noise comes in. So I can add some noise to get some details back. It's quite easy. Uh, let's go to the uh, preview mode again. Uh, right. Okay. And then I'm going to set the noise influence to something like 0 0.2. All right. We got some details. All right. I think I can increase this noise influence a little bit. All right. Mm, yeah, looks good. And then I can uh, increase the uh, uh, noise scale. So basically it will add some yeah details, a little bit of more details, scale wise. And then I can add the details, maybe something like this. Okay. And also you can play with this contrast and sharpness, but I think in this case, this is just fine. I can verify that by going into the uh, actual mode. All right, and yeah, this looks really nice. I have some nice uh, details in my landscape, and yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna copy this value, Control C, and I'm gonna set it to zero, and I'm gonna set uh, invalidate, and basically this is the original that we have, okay? And then uh, here, this is something, how it looks like when we add details. It's, like, it's pretty cool. If you're wondering how I invalidate uh, without clicking here, so basically you can hit Alt Q and it will do the job for you. Uh, you don't need to hit this again. Right, uh, this looks really nice. Okay, uh, so this is about how to uh, get some real world height data and add some uh, noise and, and get a little bit of details back. And I think this will be useful. Uh, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.